Today, we'll go over kill switches to kill your car. These methods will render your car useless to drive, even with the physical key in your hand. Modern cars are ridiculously easy to steal. In this video, I'll focus on the Hyundai Ioniq 5, because this is what I have. Regardless, most of the concepts in this video are applicable to other cars as well, modern or old. The Ioniq 5 is a really nice car, plenty of awards for it, and I really dig the design. Inside, there are buttons to push so you can control stuff without taking your eyes off the road. For this, Hyundai did a great job, no doubt. Sadly, the company does not really care about security. Just when you thought Hyundai learned a lesson or two during the Kia Boys days, it didn't. In this video, you can see the thief stole the car within one minute. It's so famous, it made the headlines. No wonder the car is top 5 EVs stolen in Europe. Absolutely ridiculous. Believe it or not, Tesla and some other companies make the cars much harder to steal. Some have pin to drive. That's right, just like your mobile phone, before you can even drive away, even with the fob or key in your hand, you still need to enter a 4 to 6 digits pin number. Without this pin, the car is useless. I'm in USA, and no doubt the thieves and the methods for stealing my Ionic 5 is coming here. Since Hyundai is not doing anything about security anytime soon, I have no choice but to take matters in my own hand. So while I do have insurance, I much, much prefer not to deal with a stolen car. I don't want to beg for my money back from the insurance, and no doubt my premium will go up the next day. And once I do get the money, I have to spend like two or three days haggling with the dealership when shopping for a new car. And you can bet I'm not getting another Hyundai. Can't fool me twice. We'll be going over seven methods today that you can do yourself to make the car much harder to steal, starting with the easiest method. Of course, none of these methods are 100% foolproof because the thieves can always use a tow truck and haul the whole car away. Wait, what about Blue Link gas? The fancy tracking system that Hyundai advertises that it can track and kill the car remotely if the police want? That Blue Link? That thing is as good as dead when the thieves cut or disconnect the 4G GPS antenna as seen here and here. In fact, it's the first thing they do before driving away. Myself, I disconnected the 4G and GPS antenna as well, not because I'm driving a stolen car, but because I don't want anybody to be tracking me, and I definitely don't want an accidental update that will break the car. It hasn't happened yet, but I'm sure if it does, it's going to be a nightmare for everyone, not just for myself. The first line of defense and easiest is using a Faraday cage, wallet, or cover for your fob. It's cumbersome, it makes your fob bigger, it's annoying to take the key out whenever you need it, but it's a must. In this video, you can see the thieves amplify the fob's radio signal via this gadget, and then the car is good as gone one minute later. Fancier devices can just duplicate and save the radio's code to be used at a later date. This is the OBD port. Mechanics or even yourself use the port to get diagnostics data from the car to troubleshoot anything. Ever wonder what that check engine light means? Plug an OBD scanner into this port and your car will tell you everything. I previously showed you how to use it in this video, and you can use it to see if preconditioning is on or not. Thieves use this port to reprogram the whole car, so they don't actually need a key to drive. There are various locks that you can put on to prevent the port from being so easily accessible, but my favorite is actually using an OBD splitter. It splits the OBD into two. One of them is actually intentionally damaged, and the other works fine. The damage is in the original position, so when thieves plug in their $3,000 OBD tool in it, it won't work because the port has been damaged. The real working port is far, far away. Remember, the whole purpose of these hacks mentioned in this video is to waste the thieves' time, make your car harder to steal, while you get your baseball bat or 9mm ready or something. I'll let you decide. The next 5 methods are trickier as you need to get your hands dirty. I won't do a hands-on tutorial myself because I don't want to start another Hyundai TikTok trend myself. If you really want to secure your car, you could always Google or find additional YouTube guides going over the details. 12 volt kill switches exist long before EVs. Almost every consumer car I know runs on a 12 volt battery. The Ionic 5 is no exception. The huge battery under your car is for the motor. Everything else runs on the 12 volt. The steering, the AC control, the radio, the lights, etc. There's even a fancy 12 volt battery pack from Omu that you can control via Bluetooth. Using the app, you can tell it to charge up the 12 volt battery when it is low or discharge it to power up your car. By disabling the discharge, the car no longer has power to boot up 
Myself, I don't recommend this method because if, for whatever reason, the car stops discharging accidentally, you will be deep doo-doo if you're driving on the highway. So maybe stick to lesser, fancier method of disconnecting the 12 volt battery. Also, disconnecting the 12 volts from this EV for an extended period of time might have an adverse effects on the memory settings of the power seat's position, user profiles, and other stuff. I wouldn't know because I don't want to try this method myself. Next up, we have the relay bypass method. Under the hood, this is the relay in Ionic 5 that is needed for shifting the car from park to drive to reverse and neutral. Without this relay, the car is as good as dead. Even though the car has power and ready to drive away, you can't because you're stuck in park. To replace the factory relay with a special relay bypass as seen in the link below, it basically adds an additional switch that you can toggle on or off. With the switch in the off position, the car thinks the relay is defective or missing. Hide this on-off switch any way you want, inside or even outside. You can even make the switch wireless using one of these kits. Instead of pressing a button, it's another remote you carry along. Obviously, the thieves can pop the hood and fix the relay or rewire if needed, but I made my hood extra hard to open. Starting the car requires pressing the start-stop button. It is connected to this fuse right here. Without this fuse, the car seems to start, but it really didn't. Similar to the relay bypass hack, there is, mm, you guess it, fuse bypass. But the fuse for this is way too easy to be replaced with a paperclip, so I don't even bother with this on my car. Maybe if your important fuses are in a hood or somewhere obscure, then this hack is for you. Any modern car has an accelerator or gas pedal controlled via wire digitally. Mine is actually located right here and very easy to access. There are six wires in this bundle, and any cut will render the gas pedal useless. So if you want, you can actually install your kill switch here or wherever it is hard to spot and even harder to rewire. I'm sure you can hack the brake pedal too, but I don't want to gamble with my life. Finally, I'm saving the last method because it is the best but also the hardest. Also, for whatever reason, these immobilizers are not available in USA for whatever reason. They are only available in Europe for about 500 euro. Yeah, that's a lot. I have no idea how to install one because the manufacturers do not mention anything about it. Check out these videos down in the description section below to get more detail. Once installed, you have to press a series of buttons on your car to unlock. Very similar to pin to drive but without the numbers to enter. Very cool. These are the 7 methods for the Hyundai Ionic 5 that I'm aware of. I'm sure there are more as I go through the tech manual that I found here online. You can implement one or more methods for your car to make it even harder to steal. Feel free to let me know what method is your favorite or which one I didn't even think of. I really appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel, liking this video, and thanks for watching.